Select the camera from the resources list and drag it onto the screen. Place the mouse cursor on the title bar above the video that displays the device name and press the export button. This will open up a new window called export form. The camera that you selected will be shown in the list and the video will be displayed on the right side. The default time duration for the export is 5 minutes. You can play the recorded video with the playback controls displayed under the video window. When the mouse cursor hovers over the camera in the list, a calendar and trash icon will appear. The calendar lets you select a specific date time period and the trash icon allows you to remove the camera from the list. Pressing the calendar icon displays the set export range window. Select the exact start and end time for the video clip. When finished, click apply and close. You can also use the loop mode brackets on the video display to change the export start and end times. If you set a loop on the playback video before starting the export process, it will open with that loop. To add more devices to this export, click the Add Resource button. A list of resources that can be exported will display. Select the desired resource or multiple resources. Click Add to add the resources and continue to choose from the list. If you have selected all the resources, just click the Add and Close button. Click Cancel to close the window without adding any resource. You can include the Valaris player and a password for your export by checking those boxes. The Valaris player will be saved with the export and allows authenticated playback and simultaneous camera playback. Exporting without the player will provide an MP4 video clip. Click Export to begin the process which will save the video on the application server. The export symbol will display a number that indicates that the export is in progress. Click the export symbol for details on the progress of the export. A spinning circle indicates how the export is progressing. You can also click Abort to stop export or Advanced for additional details. When the export reaches 100%, you need to click Download in order to retrieve it from the server and onto your local PC. A message to save the video clip zip file will display. Note that if the exported file size is larger than 2 GB, the video will be split into 2 GB size files and will show as multiple consecutive files using the camera name and a suffix number showing their order. In a similar way, you can create an export with multiple cameras. First select the layout needed and place the cameras desired into the display area. Press the export button at the top of the screen and the export form will open with a list that already includes all the cameras currently displayed in the tab. The start and end times will be the same for all the cameras. Make any changes required as previously explained. Click Export to begin the process. It is important to understand that the export files are initially created on the application server and then need to be downloaded to the client for playback or archiving purposes. Once the files have been downloaded, you will need to delete them from the application server in order to clear the storage space for future exports. Once all files have been deleted, the export icon will no longer show a number.